I always wondered if it was easy to grow an apple orchard, so I made it happen. I spent two years turning my backyard into one, but I heard that when you plant apples from seed, not all of them will produce fruit identical to the original apple seed, so you might end up with apples you can't actually eat. That's why cutting a piece of the original tree and planting it in the ground is the preferred method of growing apple trees, but I wasn't going to believe that until I could see it with my own eyes. And that's when the adventure began. Well, this is a Honeycrisp apple. Inside are the seeds that we peeled and placed on a piece of damp paper towel to grow little baby tails. And once they were on that paper towel, the waiting game for our apple seedlings begun. About a week later, I checked on our seed to see it grew a little tail and I knew that meant it was ready for a big bed of soil. So I got a little pot of soil, placed it right inside, and in just a week, it grew into a baby seedling. I was so excited and as I was growing this apple, of course, I was an avid apple eater and I noticed that one of the apples I had eaten that week already had germinating seeds inside. At first I was confused because I didn't know what happened here, but then I learned that the process of the seeds already having tails inside of the fruit has a name and it's called vivipary. It's basically when the seeds start to grow a tiny root and a shoot while still inside of the apple itself. And this can happen even while the seeds are still attached to the parent apple. It's a common occurrence in some plant species including some apple and tomato varieties, but when this occurs, it's because the seeds inside the apple are surrounded by the apple's flesh, which provides them with moisture and nutrients, so they develop and grow, and this can happen if the apple is left in a warm and moist environment and then put back in the fridge. As the seeds begin to sprout, they push through the apple's flesh, breaking through the skin and eventually growing into a new apple tree. Well, I was pretty pumped here, and I peeled the skin off and planted them right in soil and waited. Now, if you're expecting to germinate an apple seed, plant it in soil, and then grow your own apple tree that grows apples that are actually good to eat, they may not always grow that way because when you plant them from the seeds, not all apple seeds will produce an apple tree that bears fruit identical to the original apple. The reason for this is because apple trees are often cross-pollinated, meaning the seeds may contain genetic material from other apple trees in the area, and so they may not grow true to seed. So technically, apple trees will grow much better when you grow them, which just means when you cut a piece of the tree and replant it in the ground. But if you know anything about this channel, of course, I won't be able to believe that until I see it. Plus, I love having baby plants, so until I grow my own apple tree that bears fruit that I actually taste, I won't be able to confirm the truth behind that theory. However, this made me realize that the seeds inside of all the apples I eat have so much potential to grow into a whole new apple tree, given the right conditions. And since I was eating at least one apple a day, you know, to keep the doctor away, I knew I could have hundreds of apple plants growing. But I also knew I didn't want to be too much of a crazy plant lady, so I limited myself to only a few more apples. But soon, these apple seedlings started to sprout up, so much so that they were ready for a bigger soil home. So I took the seedlings, replanted them in a bigger pot, and the waiting game begun. As I waited, I began to check every single apple I ever ate for seeds already germinating inside of the fruit and along the way I also heard that you can prompt apple seeds to germinate inside of the fruit by cutting the apple in half, wrapping it in foil, leaving it out in a warm environment for 24 hours, so just basically on the counter, and then placing it back in the fridge for another 48 hours. Well, I wanted to see if that really worked or not, so of course I tried it and guess what? When I opened my foil and cut the apple in half, I saw a little white tail popping out of the middle of the fruit. I had to investigate this and confirm that they were were indeed germinating seeds inside. So I broke the middle of the fruit open oh very so gently and realized that this really worked and the apple seeds germinated inside of the apple. However, I'm still kind of skeptical because I tried it with another apple and those seeds did not in fact germinate after leaving it in a foil in the fridge for 48 hours. So I think that you've just got to get lucky here. It may work, it may not work. You just got to try with many and you might just get lucky with one. It's proof in the pudding that it's all trial and error. <coughs> but you already know that by now. But the fact that this actually worked with one really surprised me like wow these were insane and the little seedlings were way bigger than the other apple so it's safe to say I was excited. But when I was eating this apple I wasn't in Canada I was in Florida. So I had to wrap these up in a paper towel, bring them home with me, and unfortunately, 
I've got to be the bearer of bad news. They did not survive. But it's a good thing I opened up this apple when I got home to see the seeds already sprouting inside. And as rare as this phenomenon is for the seeds to sprout inside of the fruit, I was amazed that this was actually happening for a third time. So back in Canada, I carefully cut the flesh around the seeds and I tried to make sure I didn't break the little seedlings. And finally, I got them out safely and I peeled the skin off of some of the seeds to help them grow a little bit faster. And of course, I broke open the remainder of the apple to make sure we didn't leave any seeds hiding in the flesh. We did find one hiding so it's good we checked. But then I got ready to plant them in some soil and after just two weeks the baby seedlings turned into a baby plant and I was so excited that I guess I gotta admit I got a little bit of an apple obsession and I wanted to see how fast the growth rate would be if I placed some seeds in my grow box. So you know exactly what I had to do. I broke open the apple, checked for any germinating seeds. There were none. I removed the inner seeds, got them on a piece of damp napkin to germinate on, and don't come at me for using a colored napkin, okay? I ran out of paper towel. Anywho, once the seeds germinated, I placed them in my grow box, and the waiting game yet again began. Well, once a few weeks passed and it grew up nicely, I started to realize that this apple plant looks nothing like my other apple plants. And as confused as I was, I realized, with the help of all of you of course, that this was in fact pomegranate seeds that must have gotten mixed up with my apple seeds. I guess it's safe to say I'm growing way too many plants into fruits, or fruits into plants. As confused as I was about how this happened and the fact that I waited so many weeks for these to sprout only to find out that they were not in fact apple apples but pomegranates. It was really upsetting to me but I didn't give up and even though I had all of these other apple trees growing I wanted more. I wanted it to turn into this tree right here so I got another apple. But this time it wasn't just any apple it was a pink apple and I really said to myself wait pink apples exist? Apparently it's the strawberry lemonade of apples but I didn't really get that taste from it. However it did taste like a sweet honey crisp and slightly tart but less acidic than the regular apples and maybe a little hint of lemon but not strawberry lemonade. I learned that an Oregon farmer discovered the pink flesh after taking a bite out of one of his apples on his trees in the 60s but it didn't start to become commercially available until a few years ago. It's basically a natural hybrid and it's so cool to see how different fruits have capabilities of growth, hybridization, cross-pollination, and more. I think these are my new favorite apple breed. And I was pumped to get to work. I removed the seeds, I got my germination hat on. And in just a few weeks, they sprouted in the paper towel, so I made sure to plant them in a new little home and the waiting game yet again begun. So I cut a mean fruit bowl up and I ate that. I'm hoping soon the pink rose apples will turn into this. But I noticed something. The fact that I've had a tough time not only keeping apple seedlings alive, but growing actual apple seedlings and not pomegranate ones, but also growing them into bigger plants than just a seedling. Because we had been through like eight or nine or 10 apples and none of them were growing as fast as I wanted them to grow. And I know I live in Canada, but I was still confused that the growth of all of my little baby apple plants was so slow. I'm still waiting and throughout the waiting time, I learned two last things that I want to tell you about. First, I learned a trick from TikTok and I had to try it. Apparently you can break open your apple using just your hands because there's a spot on the apple that when pressed into it slices right in half. So of course I tried it and if you're wondering if I recommend this trick, no I do not. I struggled here. Don't try this. Unless I did it wrong, then let me know in the comments. It was still cool to try. And the second thing I learned about were these little things. I found this tree and I saw people picking apples, what looked to be apples off of it. And when I asked one of the ladies what she uses them for, she said jellies and jams. So of course I had to see what was up with these. I thought initially that they were crab apples, but unbeknownst to me, I later learned that they are not in fact crab apples, but a nut called jinko nuts. And they come from the jinko tree, one of the oldest tree species on earth. These trees are even often referred to as the living fossil because it's remained relatively unchanged for millions of years. They've got a distinct taste, texture, and a very strong smell, and they're commonly found in desserts. But these little trees can clearly withstand very harsh Canadian winters and continue to thrive. That makes them very resilient, plus they've also got a ton of medicinal benefits like improving cognitive function and circulation. Well, if you know me, I took some home and I tried to grow them. I cracked open that hard outer shell to reveal the inner seed. Breaking it open was like breaking open an apricot or a peach seed or a walnut. 
I had to be careful not to break the actual nut inside. Of course I did, but that's okay because I still tried germinating that seed and to my surprise, it did not grow. I didn't even want to take it out of the paper towel when I looked because it looked mushy, it looked gross, but there is a tree close to my house so I may go back and get more to try and germinate them again. But you guys, so there you have it. So many apples, so many germinating apple seedlings, and so many apple plants, cute as ever. I'm still waiting for a lot of the plants to grow, and although I don't have my apple orchard just yet, I'm really excited for the day that I do, and I think it will happen soon. Just make sure to come back for updates on all of our apples in the next few months. Next time you're enjoying a crisp, juicy apple, remember that the seeds inside have the potential to grow into a whole new apple tree given the right conditions. Thank you so much for watching this week's wild ride. Without you, none of this would be possible, so it would mean the world to me if you didn't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe, and remember that on this channel, we take the seeds from inside exotic fruits and grow them into full-blown houseplants that fruit. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember that I love you. And I'll see you next week.